At the start of the movie, we see some astronauts repairing satellites in space. They were being led out of the shelter by Jocelyn de Fowler, Joe. Everything was going fine until their communication system went down. Brian notices something approaching. These were tiny nano-sized creatures, and they and their satellite collided. Brian's companion was lost somewhere in space. Brian appears at Joe's shelter in some way. He notices Joe has passed out while attempting to contact his partner. But there was nothing useful there. Brian, accompanied by his friend Joe, departs for the Earth. The tiny nano-sized creatures were making strange holes on the moon. After 18 months, the tale turns and we see Brian's wife. She watches the news on TV and learns that Brian has been fired from NASA. As a result of the incident that occurred in the space. On TV, it was announced that NASA did not believe Brian and Joe's statement. Brian's wife had filed a divorce from him, and she was about to relocate with her son Sonny to another country. Because they have lost their home as a result of this incident. After 10 years, the film's plot shifts. We observe Dr. KC, house man, who is gathering information regarding the moon's activities. He noticed anything unusual about the moon's orbital distance. KC quickly calls NASA and requests to speak with the director. Joe gets a call from NASA, and she gets up early the next morning to go to work. When Joe arrives at the Space Center, she learns about the strange activities on the moon. She was notified that the moon's orbital system is shifting. The orbital radius is shrinking, and they're noticing something strange in the footage. On the moon's primary surface, NASA people were not taking KC's statement seriously. Today is astronaut day, and KC learns about it. KC arrives at the location where the astronaut day celebrations were taking place. Meanwhile, when he arrives, all he finds are children. He gives the children a lecture about the moon. Meanwhile, Brian, who was supposed to give the lecture, arrives. KC meets Brian and tells him about the facts he's gathered so far. He informs Brian that the moon has deviated from its normal orbit. Brian was thinking of his statements as a joke later his guards took KC away. He leaves his papers to Brian for reading them. Brian gets a call from his wife. She informs him that his son has been apprehended by the police and has been caught with drugs. Brian's son is later put on trial in court, and the judge postpones the case. Because Brian has asked the judge to take his son away. However, the judge decides to postpone the matter there. We see KC, who is on her way to see her mother. His mother is living at an old age home and is suffering from short-term memory loss. KC's mother feels confident in her son's discoveries. She instructs her son to reassure the rest of the world that his information is correct. On the other hand, we see a space center where Joe's co-workers are discussing. The fact that they only have three weeks left. Later, little fragments of the moon will fall to Earth. There is just one solution. They must travel to the moon to see the hole. Isn't that what that hole has? They've now discovered that there's some news on Twitter. This has been done by KC the judge who was with Brian notices the news on TV that the moon has fallen out of its orbit as well. Brian's ex-wife, together with her husband and children, is about to leave. No one could go because of the traffic. Now, NASA and European space agencies are collaborating on a project. The news had reached every corner of the globe, and everyone was in a panic. Brian is impelled to read the papers of KC. He also visits his websites, while NASA launches its spaceship to the moon. After reaching the moon, they discover a large hole and place a crock inside. Brian approaches KC and inquires about his knowledge of these things. KC explains that he has been researching space and the Earth. He informs Brian that the power core of the moon has suffered something. That's why the moon's orbit has been disrupted. While plummeting, the core comes to a halt at 25.6 kilometers. It automatically starts climbing again. The same nano-creatures emerge from the breach as orbit begins to shift again. They launch an attack on the space shutter, killing everyone in the group. Joe becomes astonished when she sees it and wonders what it is. The seawater begins to enter the sea as a result of the moon's gravity. Gradually, the water crept into the city, wreaking havoc. Brian manages to save KC, and the director of NASA is terrified to see what's going on. After watching this, he notifies his family that they are all about to leave. When Joe hears this, she asks a question from the director, would you run from there? There's something I'm not aware of that you're aware of. Joe is told by NASA's director, I'd like to know everything there is to know about NASA. To meet a man, and he gives her his card for clearance. 
Jo arrives at the location where her director has informed her. She goes there and listens to some old recordings. In the footage from the repair machine, she notices those nano creatures. When she meets a man named Holdenfield, he informs Joe about the 1969 incident. When people discovered something unusual on the moon's surface. This was a form of light, but NASA sought to keep it hidden. That mission is linked to the mission repair, we saw at the start of the movie. When Brian tried to bring this up, they fired him from the job, claiming he was mad. He claims the technology is advanced and that we are still living in the Stone Age in comparison to them. Joe speaks with military personnel at the base where her ex-husband works. He doesn't listen to her, though, the military also wanted to use nuclear power to destroy the moon. However, the Earth will endanger, and Joe's ex-husband urges her to consider her son. He claims that you must all proceed from there. He informs her that you must all go to Colorado. The scene turns to Brian and KC, who are conversing. Brian is told by K, see that you've seen alien technology in space. Brian tells KC that my friend's life has been taken by an alien. When he returned to Earth, he was divorced, and his son was also separated from him. Joe tells her that Holden Field had told her about a device. The technology is known as an EMP device, and it is capable of killing nanoorganisms. She tells her ex-husband about everything. On the other hand, national security personnel arrives to grab Brian, and Brian departs with KC he runs into Joe, who shows her the tape. She plays the same recording and says there's a hole in it. That is 25 kilometers deep, and everything that happened 10 years ago is still relevant today. Joe also shows him footage of the nano-creature murdering their own members. KC informs them that these creatures are tinkering with the moon's core. The moon was most likely created by the animals. Joe informs Brian that she will require his help in the upcoming mission. Brian, on the other hand, requires something in return. Their shelter was taken from a museum. Everyone in the California airbase sees the earthquake and volcano reports from Asia. People in the Air Force take AMP devices which as a result kill the nano-organisms. In exchange, Brian has requested the release of his son, Sonny from prison. Brian tells everyone about his plan and is relieved to see his pal Sonny. A major earthquake strikes the location where the shutter was to be launched. KC detects anything unusual about the moon's activities once more. It has been discovered that the earthquake has caused damage to the shelter. Now that nothing could be possibly done, Joe instructs everyone to clear the space. And she asks them to join him in Colorado, where they can all shelter in a bunker. KC approaches Joe and informs her that the moon's gravitational pull is fast growing. We should begin our task soon, but Joe informs him that it has already been completed. Joe approaches Brian and informs him that only the two of us would be going to the space. I'll navigate you while you fly the shutter. They do, however, require another flight engineer, so they enlist KC's help. KC makes strange excuses here, but this was his first mission. Brian requests KC to be prepared. Before traveling to the mission, Joe and Brian meet their children. Both parents say goodbye to their children. Sonny, Brian's son, and Joe's children are all heading to Colorado. KC also informs his mother of his plans to travel to space. He instructs the worker to look after his mother. A gravitational wave is reaching them, because of the growing gravity of the moon, which is pulling everything. Brian and Joe, likewise, successfully take off the shutter. The red warning starts to ring after a while, and the thruster switches off. Their speed continues to diminish, and threshers begin to separate from the shutter. To lighten the load and eventually reach the space. Sunny, on the other hand, informs Joe's ex-husband that they are leaving for Colorado. They require his clearance to enter the bunker. Brian and Joe, on the other hand, were refueling the EMP weapon. They notice the moon as it approaches the Earth. Sunny, Brian's kid's car is stopped by three men on the other side. They've taken his car and are driving away. The moon's little fragments begin to fall on the Earth. The moon appears in front of them and begins to pull everything in its path due to gravity. Joe, Brian, and KC have reached the moon. KC takes a picture of the moon and Brian brings that EMP device into the hole. And then he activates the electronic and returns to his shape shutter. The nano creatures emerge from their hole, which he notices. And then they start wondering about the device. Later thereafter, the creature begins to approach their shutter. Brian quickly disconnects KC's phone in his shutter. As a result, the creatures go from there. 
Brian claims that military personnel can use bombs to stop the moon. Brian was worried that if this happened, the radiation would be released. Brian, on the other hand, must take action prior to this. Brian informs them that they only have two hours. Brian's wife's husband is on the other side. He locates Sonny and gets the children to a secure location. Brian is in the space, according to Sonny. The news was streaming on the video that they needed to leave this location quickly. Because this isn't a secure place. Sonny informs them that a bunker exists in Colorado. We must all go there. On the other side, Brian, Joe, and KC go inside the moon's hole. They arrive at a weird location. After triggering the electric light, the nano creatures awaken. Sonny and others, on the other hand, are gathering oxygen cylinders. Meanwhile, three robbers come, but Sonny flees after pointing a gun at them. After seeing this, KC was relieved to see that all of his information was true. They've now gotten close to a gleaming core. Joe was all set to pull the trigger on the detonator. In the meantime, the nano monsters attack them, and a green light pulls their shutter inside. Someone was most likely trying to save them from nano creatures. Three of them passed out there and were being scanned. The military, on the other hand, was well prepared to use nuclear weapons. Sunny is being pursued by three robbers on the other side. The moon appears in front of them. The gravity of the moon drew everything in after it arrived. Three robbers are killed as a result of this. Joe's ex-husband, on the other hand, calls Sonny. He claims that because you were late, nuclear weapons will now be activated. As a result, a large chunk of the moon will crash to the ground. And radiation will happen so quickly hide somewhere. Joe's ex-husband learns of Joe's presence in space because of Sonny. He gets shocked when he learns about this. His ex-wife will die if the moon is blasted. The Earth's oxygen was quickly depleting, and everyone was dying. On the other hand, when Joe and KC wake up in space, they could see that there was oxygen present, but Brian was not. Both of them start looking for Brian. A door was open, and both of them entered fearfully. It's possible that someone is leading them. It's possible that he's human-like. When Brian wakes up, he sees a young boy who has memories of his son Sonny. Brian asks the boy who is he and he says that he has been made. They created me, who has created you. He tells Brian that civilization was quickly expanding for billions of years. They were all highly technologically advanced. They all started constructing their homes in the space. In this universe, there was no concept of war. The Earth was being controlled by a central self-learning computer system. However, all was ruined one day. They were turned against by a human-made system. Those who were afraid of that technology began to destroy it. Meanwhile, the boy transforms into Sunny. But it wasn't Sunny rather it was the computer's operating system. And they began to live in a safe area in the galaxy after that. They started building massive structures that could hold a lot of energy. These structures also incorporated the moon. Later, that technology discovered the moon and launched an attack on it. These creatures are after technological devices with organic lights. Later, he explains that they require a human to assist them in separating the creatures from the moon. As a result, the moon will re-enter its orbit. We later encounter Brian, who is unconscious and is watching everything in his dream. When Joe and KC take him in their arms, he informs them that they must end these creatures as soon as possible. These creatures should be taken aside from the moon soon. Otherwise, the world will be destroyed to a great extent. Three of them see that their shutter has been restored by technology. When the shutter is activated, the creatures begin to move away from the moon's core. They're now following the shutter. Everyone has been using masks due to the lack of oxygen. People on the planet were dying as a result of a lack of oxygen. When Sunny and others were moving, fragments of the moon began to fall. Sunny falls there, and we notice that the moon has entered the Earth's atmosphere. The men in the military were about to activate their weapons. However, Joe's ex-husband forbids them from doing so because Joe was still in the space. Brian, on the other hand, assures Joe and KC that he'll take the shutter. I'll stay with the bomb. Before he can do anything KC stops in the ropper by taking the bombs. KC tells Brian to inform his mother and assures her that he is not a failure. He also distanced himself from the shutter. When the creatures attack ropper, KC hits the bombs. Sunny, on the other hand, remains still safe on Earth. Joe's daughter saves her, and Joe departs from the moon by taking the shutter. The moon gradually moves closer to its orbit. Joe tells Brian that the planet is perfectly secure. Finally, everyone meets each other. 
Brian learns that his wife's ex-husband is no longer living, he has died. When Sonny inquires about KC from his father, Brian tells his son that he has saved this earth. As well as the moon. On the other hand, we see KC on the moon, where he sees one of his cats. On the other side, he sees his mother. He is now a part of the moon, according to the operating system. Moon's operating system tells him to begin right away. What should be started, asks KC. This is where Moonfall comes to an end. Please subscribe.